we want to talk about body match millimeter wave antennas. Potentially the name is a novel body matched millimeter wave Sandy widget antennas for advanced medical communication. So here it shows the antenna structure. And as you can see, in the left side, we will start by designing a basic microstrip antennas which is on a single layer Rogers RO4360 substrate. The substrate has a thickness of 0.09 millimeter and the electric constant of 6.15 and also this amount of loose tangent. After we design this basic single layer microstrip, then uh, we are gonna use two layers of dielectric on uh, bottom and top of it, which as you can see on top of it is look like a cylinder and on bottom of it a rectangular cubic. For the dielectric, we use Rogers RO5880 substrate with a dielectric constant of 2.2. And also this amount of loose tangent. So the dielectric cylinder, this one has a height of 0 0.5 millimeter, and also this uh, rectangular cubic has the same dimension as a antenna substrate, but uh, with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter. The thickness is the same as the cylinder. Then we put the purpose of the antenna on human body phantom that we designed in the CSD microwave studio software. So here you can see the model and the density row and blood flow for the skin fat and muscle we use CSD material library for getting this amount. The skin has a thickness of one millimeter the fat has a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter and the muscle we consider as a three millimeter. So potentially after this muscle um, on the human body is um, more muscle and then it's a bone, but we don't need to um, kind of simulate the rest of it. The purpose of the antenna on the free space uh, has a bandwidth of from 50 to 90 Gigahertz. We have studied the antenna by time domain and frequency domain and as you can see both methods have a very good agreement with each other. The antenna main resonance frequency is about uh, 70 gigahertz in the both time domain and frequency domain. This one is the main resonance frequency and then the difference is less than one person. Here we bring the return loss of the antenna when we put it on the human body phantom. As you can see, the antenna bandwidth decreases a little bit. It goes from 55.5 uh, up to 90 gigahertz, but still it has a very huge bandwidth in the millimeter wave. And as you can see, the whole model is gonna create a two million mesh cells on the software. That's what I mentioned. We don't consider more thickness for the muscle. Return loss of the antenna is gonna improve a little bit, and uh, here we have a very good resonance frequency, which it can achieve the minus twenty seven dB. Here we shows the gain of the antenna. We want to show that why we use this sandwich dielectric method uh, for designing this antenna. The basic antenna without dielectric, kind of basic single layer microstrip antenna, if you put it on the human phantom, you can get this kind of gain. It's a very low gain, it's about minus eight and minus 10, and potentially doesn't um, work very well, especially in the millimeter wave that we have high um, attenuation. Then we consider different material as a dielectric in the top and bottom of the antenna. So we use some um, Rogers family substrate and also quartz and something else. First of all, we get the best gain for Rogers 5880. This black one with the highest. And as you can see, the 
material that we use on dielectric has a lot of effect on the antenna gain, and the gain is important in a millimeter wave. This graph shows how this method uh, can improve the antenna gain on, especially on the body mass and medical uh, antenna. So in the average, the improvement about 13 dB we can get in the gain, as you can see the red dashed line jump up to the black solid. And that's it. Uh, I tried to describe it in the very simple way. Uh, I didn't go on the details a lot. And I hope I see you in the future.